Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Tax Academy. In today's lesson, we've got a finger speed workout or warm up that's gonna get you really comfortable on any particular scale or key. You're gonna gain more fluency and accuracy in your fingering, and it's also gonna expand your knowledge of the scale as well. Now you can get the free PDF of today's exercise, and that's down in the link below. Just head to the YouTube library at Online Tax Academy and click on the free content button. Now premium members will also be able to download the backing track that accompanies this, and you've also got this same workout with the backing tracks transposed into all of the 11 other keys. So this exercise is built with two components. We have a series of skips, and then we have a series of steps. We're gonna start by playing the first, third, fifth, and seventh note from the major scale. Then we'll be stepping down from that seventh, playing six, five, four, three. And then this pattern continues from the second. So again, we start with the skips, going two, four, six, eight, or one an octave higher. And then again, we're gonna step down going seven, six, five, four. Now we repeat this pattern of skips up and steps down, starting on each note of the major scale. And for the second half of the exercise, we're basically doing the same but in reverse. The reason why this is so useful is when you're playing your skips, you're creating what's called a seventh chord, which are really common in jazz. And this is great for any improvisers out there as you'll be learning all the chords that are in a particular major key. And along with this, the combination of skips and steps really prepares your fingers to move in the most common ways when you're playing melodies and when you're improvising. Now, most of you will probably find this first section with quarter notes fairly easy, but avoid the temptation to skip ahead to the faster bit because with these quarter notes, you can focus on producing a really nice tone. So it's kind of acting as a nice warm up. And you can also focus on keeping everything relaxed using good breath support and having nice smooth and efficient finger motions as well. Now, after the quarter note warm up, we're then gonna play this exercise with eighth notes. Now, at this point, I'd recommend you start to try and play from memory too. And that's gonna give you the greatest benefit in terms of really getting to know the scale. You can also think to yourself the name of the chord arpeggio that you're creating during the skip sections. After the eighth notes, we're then gonna step up again. This time we're gonna do 16th notes. As we get up to these faster 16th notes, you can slur these in groups of four or even groups of eight. Now after the 16th notes, there is a 32nd note section, but this is really hard and by no means necessary. I thought I would just put it in just to show you what's possible. Now remember during all of this, you should remain relaxed. So if you notice your shoulders start to tense up or you feel like you're grabbing the keys and you feel tension around here, that's only gonna slow you down. So try to imagine whatever you're playing feels easy and relaxed and you'll find the tension drops off you and you can move your fingers in a much more free way. Of course, the other thing you should do is try to keep your fingers nice and curved, put the tips of your fingers on the keys. And as you're releasing a key, try not to lift your finger too high. During the demonstration, I am lifting my fingers quite a lot so you can really clearly see which fingerings I'm using. But ordinarily when I'm playing, I try to keep my fingers in contact with the saxophone all the time. Now I wouldn't recommend going down a rabbit hole of just practicing this and trying to learn this in all 12 keys straight away. But what you should do is look at the tunes you're currently working on, have a look at their key signatures, see what key keys they're in. So say for example you were practicing Autumn Leaves on the alto sax. Well that has lots of sections that are in the key of G major, in which case it can be beneficial to grab the G major workout and practice doing that one first. Alright so here's that faster fingers exercise.
All right, so don't forget to head to Online Sax Academy to get your free PDF. And do head over to the memberships page where you can see everything that we have on offer. When you become a premium member at Online Sax Academy, you have unlimited access to all the premium content in the YouTube library, but you also have access to all the courses on the courses page. There's a private forum where you can connect with me and other members. There's also a resource shed as well, which has got loads of things for you to download, like practice routines and finger charts and scales and arpeggios, things that you can work through gradually. All right, as ever, let me know in the comments how you got on with this lesson. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.